Hi, it's Cammy. Charlie talks football. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Charlie Talks Football. Now, got some more exciting Newcastle United news. After the fantastic 3-0 win against Wolves, we needed that. But we've got some good news now. It has been reported by many sources, including the Telegraph, that Newcastle are closing in on extended Joe Linton's contract, which is brilliant because, as you know, um, over the last few months, many sources had suggested that Joe Linton wouldn't sign a new contract, that it could have been hit the last time you know he's ever played for Newcastle. But it's now coming out that Amanda Staveley is now head of this and we've offered Joe Linton a hundred grand a week and it's now said that he is now interested in signing a new deal which is good because you know Joe Linton is is a key player and you know to we need to get him signed a new deal because he's a key part of the team he's a warrior he's a fantastic player we need to make sure he signs a new contract so it's good to hear that after that little bit of uncertainty over the last few months it looks like um, we're going to be okay with that as well now also, in interesting news, according to Lee Ryder, Newcastle are in the hot seat to in the box seat to sign um, Atalanta's Brazilian midfielder Edison. Now, if you guys don't know who he is, he's 24 years old. He's, he's a good player. I think we we'll see him as a potential replacement if Bruno potentially leaves, but it has been reported that Steve Nixon, who is the who is Newcastle's head scout, has had discussions with Atalanta regarding his summer move for Edison, and the player is actually keen on the move in the summer. So I think it's going to be a really interesting summer for Newcastle's point of view because it looks like Paul Dummett's going to leave the club. It looks like there's going to be quite a few players potentially leaving Newcastle. And because of this, there'll be players coming in. And this Edison, we've been linked with him for a while. We're linked with him in January. To be honest, I don't know much about him, but he seems a decent player. He's 24 years old, Brazilian midfielder. Again, we're looking at another target in Italy after Sandro Tonali. So, Hoping um, he doesn't have any betting problems, but it, it's really interesting to see as well. And what were your thoughts on the Wolves game as well? Newcastle beat Wolves 3 0. It's not what I expected coming into the game, especially since our recent form. Um, I wasn't very confident. I thought there'd be a draw, but N Newcastle played well. I mean, Wolves were very poor, they didn't play with a proper centre forward, but. I still think it's a good win for Newcastle, who of course got drawn against Manchester City, um, which is not great um, because, you know, we haven't even got drawn a home game yet. So that is quite frustrating. But anyway, guys, um, I just wanted to come on here to give you guys a quick update. What are your thoughts on Edison, if you've heard of him? What are your thoughts on... Um, um, last the last game against Wolves. What are your thoughts on Joe Lint and the fantastic news that he is getting closer to signing a new contract at Newcastle? Um, and just what are your thoughts in general? It's an interesting time to be a Newcastle fan now. Things are starting to hopefully get a bit more positive. And great news as well because it looks like Nick Pope will be back for the game against Chelsea, so I think he will be in the squad, whether he'll, whether he'll start or not. I don't think he'll start, but he'll certainly be um, part of the squad, according to many reports, which is fantastic because, you know, no disrespect to Debravka, he's done a very good job, but we do, we do miss Pope. So what are your thoughts on all this, guys? Make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are trying to get to 2,000 subscribers so all your um, support makes a difference. But anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on this information? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.